So previously we had looked at a butterfly strategy, a butterfly spread strategy uh, set up using call options. And here we, we observed that there was two long call positions and two short call positions. <clears throat> to set out uh, an equivalent strategy using put options, we might consider the following. So let's take this and copy and paste it into our spreadsheet. And the main difference here is that this is a butterfly strategy, a butterfly strategy, a spread strategy. And the it is set up using Puts, put options. So economically, it's equivalent to what we had looked at before. But of interest here is that the um, while the overall payoff is identical to that strategy that used call options, in this instance, we can see that the st strategy is set up using puts. Okay, where are the puts? The puts are, we have two long put options. Uh, the one with the lower exercise of X1, a long put option with the highest exercise of X3, and then two short put options. Um, you can see here the line here is a little bit steeper. Two short put options where the exercise is halfway between x1 and x3. Overall, the payoff is identical. Okay, so how do we set out this strategy? Well, uh, previously we had uh, created our call options and set it up in the spreadsheet as before. And we had worked out intrinsic values for uh, the call options adjusted for the premiums. So we had a long position, a second long position, and two short positions. And the portfolio combination of those four options or three positions uh, gave rise to the purple outline here, which is consistent with the uh, butterfly strategy. So what I plan to do is, same as before, we might so this is the butterfly butterfly spread using pots and we're going to replicate what we did with black shoals so we're going to recreate uh, the payoffs here but using put options We'll copy that. We'll go into the new worksheet. We'll paste everything in. We'll take away that graph. And we what we change our calculation to incorporate put options. So everything here must be changed to uh, put options. Now in the previous case, we used this VVA function for calls. Uh, we have to change that to reflect the fact now that we're going to deal with puts. So we have a P1, a P2, and a P3. And we're going to maintain the same parameter inputs. So the same parameter inputs are going to be used as before. But in this case, we're going to work out the premiums associated with the put option. Uh, to do that, we have to uh, incorporate in. So if we go into the developer tab, look at the Visual Basic Editor. Obviously, we don't have here uh, the code for put options. We must incorporate that in. However, in a previous worksheet, we had a function uh, developed to price a put option using black shows. So we'll copy that and go into the uh, modules 
the module associated with uh, this particular spreadsheet. Double click and we just paste in. Of course, what we have here is black shows code for to put option. And we're going to use this to work out the premium. Okay, and because um, we've written it with an apostrophe, this code isn't red, it's just for narration. Okay, so uh, first thing we need to do is uh, remove, we'll keep the same type of structure, same ru rubric. So we'll delete and we'll make some changes here in a moment. Uh, but we need to change the premium to be, to work, change the premium to be pot premium. So a simple change would be to just pull this across. And what we have now is we have uh, the estimation of the values for the put. In this case, we're using the value, we're estimating the premiums for the put option. Interestingly, we might note also that even though we're using the pot black shoals uh, formula to work out the premiums or time value of the puts. When we take uh, the two long put positions add together and subtract away the two short positions, which is what the butterfly represents, two long positions minus two short, two, sh two shorts being the middle, uh, the put option at the um, at the middle exercise, the value of the combined, the value of setting up the strategy or the cost of setting up the butterfly using the puts is equivalent to the costs, the premiums, the combined premiums of setting up uh, the butterfly using call options. And of course that shouldn't come as a surprise because both are economically equivalent. Okay, so next thing I need to do is to change all the C's here to be P's, just to reflect the fact that we're working with pod options. And I might pause here and make that change. And then once that has been done, next I must work out the value, the intrinsic value of the pot, which is the maximum of X for the first option, the exercise for the lower the long put with the lower exercise is x f four minus s the value of the underlying close brackets and we can pull that down and as before then we must subtract away well what's the premium associated with that option so this option minus this premium and f four the premium. In fact, this is the premium <coughs> and tolerize and pull down. And to get to inspect that option, then um, we can insert the graph. And what data do we want to incorporate in? We want to add the long put. So P1 with premium and our X axis is going to remain the same and the payoff on the first option with the lower exercise. And we can see that corresponds to a put option and yes, just a small premium if we go a little bit in, we can see there's a small premium associated with that. So uh, next it's P2 uh, and P2 same as before maximum of the exercise it's the middle option I have to F4 minus 
the value of the assets zero and close brackets and that gets drawn down and then we must subtract out equal to the intrinsic value minus the premium and that's at four and return and we just drag down the calculations so the calculations work out but of course in the for the second option that there's too long too short positions so the first position we've captured the second position or there's two short positions that we have to incorporate in okay so let's do that it's just equal to this two negative two times this and we pull it down and we incorporate in and add so p2 premium x same as before y what we just worked out and we can see the correspondence and the, the last position must be equal to maximum of x so 120 f4 minus the asset price so x minus s zero to get the intrinsic value we pull that down we subtract the premium so the payoff minus the premium the premium here is quite substantial 17 and um, important to dollarize f4 pull it down we'll incorporate that into the graph select data add so p3 premium same as before the x series and on the horizontal axis the payoff is captured click ok and finally to get the combination of the three uh, put positions we just add so we add this value the first option plus the last option and remember we went short to uh, put options at with the middle exercise drag it down it runs all the calculations and we can notice here we have the wings okay so let's incorporate that in select data add well, let's call it combination so it's the butterfly this is the butterfly using the puts the x again constant and the y is the combination of all the positions and click and let's bring this more center stage to take a view and uh, let's have a look at the design here just to augment and we'll put this at the bottom format legend bottom and again what we observe here is uh, the payoff in the purple and it corresponds to what we have here uh, the bold that we have here the bold here just denotes that when we're towards the center that's when the option seems to have the maximum payoff when we move out of that range below x1 above x3 we uh, have to come up with the premium and that can be observed here when we're outside 80 or above 120 we end up with no profit and having to pay the premium which is left with the premium that was incurred when the, the strategy was set up and then in the center what we observe is the payoff the profit